fire and solar. You know, the San Diego community is such a giving community. When things happen, there's disasters, things happen like this. Yeah. People yeah. come out of the woodwork and help. It's just an amazing place to be. Yeah, you the know? proof was, was in that story mm. that Matt just did. Right, and covering the stories, you hear so many people coming together too. It's amazing oh, right. how it's much incredible. the support was all there. Incredible. Yeah, so it looks like we've got some cooling as we go. You felt it today, and the winds continue to come. It's a west wind that's uh, coming in and cooling us off quite a bit. I want to show you this time lapse. This is from Borrego Springs, and the reason I'm showing this is because we still have a wind advisory in place there, and the winds there have been gusting to 30 miles per hour. Look at the palm trees moving around, and at times some little uh, dust devils coming through from the blowing dust. This is what it looks like live or Coronado. That west wind coming through will have that most of this week as the storm passes to our north. Quite a change for us and boy, we need it. UCSD looking off to the west, clear conditions here, but the temperatures dropped a good two to eight degrees today from yesterday. Right now over Poway, clear conditions, nice light breeze moving through. We've now dropped to 77 in Poway, 75 in Rono. Got to some low 80s for afternoon highs today. And it looks like as we go through tomorrow, these numbers will be even a little bit lower than they are today for your afternoon highs. Right at the coast, we're still in the 60s. Across the deserts, we still have some of the 90s in place. And look at the temperature change from 24 hours ago for right now. Two to nine degrees cooler than it was thanks to that nice sea breeze coming through. It's a good one at times. These are sustained winds at Lindbergh at about 10, 10 for Oceanside, 12 for Ramona, 13 at Chula Vista, Julian, you have at 10 and Campo at 18. So again, some of the gusts have been closer to 30 miles per hour. The water vapor loop shows where the moisture is. You've got a couple of storms moving over to our east. You've got one right here as well. And another one here. This is the one that I'm watching closely. It'll help to keep that nice onshore flow coming our direction. This will slowly move on over to the north into Northern California and then start to move south as we get into Thursday. So the west winds continue to blow west of the mountains for about 5 to 15 miles per hour. You go to the higher elevations, we got some 30 mile per hour winds at times. 2 to 5 degrees cooler tomorrow. Sprinkles, I have them in the forecast for Thursday. It looks like we'll wake up to some drizzle, but I won't be surprised if we manage to squeeze out a couple of light showers and spots on Thursday, maybe even Wednesday night into Thursday. So we have that to look forward to. So your wind advisory in place. Now it's been extended to 3 a.m. on Wednesday. Yesterday we were talking about that being in place through Tuesday. It's now been extended. The marine layer future cast at 1140 starting to see the marine layer move on in by about 6 and 7 o'clock. It's most places west of the mountains and it clears out quickly with the wind coming through. It just kind of shreds that marine layer apart, but the cool breeze keeps coming on in. So your overnight lows, you've got some 50s out there and 60s right along the coast. Along the coast, we won't warm up more, uh, much more from our overnight lows. We'll get up to about 65 in La Jolla, 68 in Coronado, uh, San Diego at 67, 73 Premier Mesa, Chula Vista at 69, about 74 in Escondido. Extended forecast at the coast. We're staying with those mid 60s, and yes, I'll keep that chance of a couple of light showers on Thursday. Really, it might just be a sprinkle or two overnight Wednesday night into Thursday morning, so maybe a wet roadway or two. But look at the 60s, even yeah. inland, Wednesday and Thursday, below average for a couple of days. <laughs> Big change. Big change. One week. That's yeah. all it took. <laughs>